Hello, my name is Duncan and welcome to my course on underwater photography. Tell me, how many times have you been diving or snorkeling and you see scenes like this? But then when you get home and download your pictures, this is what you have to show your friends. It's very disappointing. Shooting underwater is extremely challenging. When I bought my first compact camera four years ago, have a look at what I posted on Facebook. It's a bit embarrassing now looking back, but at the time I thought they were wonderful. Two years later, using that exact same camera, without strobes, I was getting images like this. In this course, I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to teach you how to shoot in manual or your priority modes and control your light. We'll go through various lighting techniques. We'll also focus mainly on using GoPros and compact systems because I believe when you get into underwater photography, this is likely going to be the system you're going to be using. Um, but I'll also cover a section on using DSLR setups. When I went and upgraded, I found it very challenging to understand the difference between the SYNC cables and the fiber optic cords and all the terminology that I was suddenly introduced to and I didn't know what they were and what the advantages were. So I found that a very stressful decision uh, period. I'll also talk a lot about underwater lighting. So if you do decide to use strobes, what you need to be aware of, how to avoid backscatter, how to be conscious of hot spots. And later on in the course, we'll talk about all the considerations for macro photography, covering things like depth of field. We'll also talk about wide angle photography and how you can compose those types of images. And finally, we'll end off with a section on how to edit your photos and color correct using Lightroom, as well as Google's free software. I know that you'll get immense value from this course. So looking forward to seeing you in the lessons.